Oh guys, so check this out. If you recall a few months ago, I got this uh, engine management light on my dash. The code reader came out with a code P2211, which is an O2 sensor. Uh, for the last few months, it's not affected the performance of the car at all. As you can see, the idle is perfect even now. However, just a couple of days ago, the car went into some kind of a limp mode. It's lost its power. And so today I'm gonna try and do something about it, inshallah. So I ordered an O2 sensor. Um, I ended up getting it off AliExpress. Um, Euro car parts winning around 80, 90 pounds for the cheapest version. Um, even eBay, the cheap Chinese ones are coming in at around 50, 60 pounds. But this one here I bought off AliExpress, cheap Chinese one as well, for 25 pounds. Um, it took a couple of, uh, good few weeks to arrive. So there it is. Decent packaging. I'm going to take this out. So here it is. Sensor. Connector seems to be the right one. I've also uh, got a specific tool you need to remove and install the O2 sensor. So let's see how it goes. So that's where the O2 sensor is, right there. As you can see, there's a lot of oil down here. I've got a serious leak somewhere. There's a connector. So let's go ahead and try to take that off. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, connector from the bracket, pull it out. Got this clip here. Go ahead and I'm going to try and slip this uh, socket over the sensor. Like so, All right. it's on there. Try and remove it. is tight as hell that is tight don't want it to slip oh wow that is tight I'm thinking if I should get the uh, impact on there I might loosen it off a bit that is tight really tight oh guys I'm gonna try and get the impact onto that because that is that is way too tight it's not budging at all maybe that will loosen off some of that dirt some of that rust let's see how it goes this okay that seems to be nicely on there And now I can even turn it by hand. So here's a sensor. I would expect it to be looking like this anyway. Alright guys, so check this out, bit of a disaster. 
Uh, the sensor on the right is the one I just took off. The one on the left is the one I bought off AliExpress. And as you can see, clearly they're not gonna fit. Obviously, uh, before I purchased uh, the one on the left, I took this off, I took the connector off. I took a few pictures and um, as you can see, look, they both look almost exactly the same. Everything matched up, but obviously the only difference is the size and you, I couldn't really scale it on the pictures online. I thought it was the same one. It is what it is. Sometimes when you try to go for the cheapest option, it doesn't always work out like here. Uh, so what I'm about to do is uh, go to my local parts store, go and buy the correct one. It's a Bosch, cost me 120 quid. It is what it is. Here's a Bosch one. As you can see, it's more or less identical. Slight little groove here, but I don't think that's gonna make any difference to the fitting. So let's go and put this on. All right, so the uh, new sensor seems to have some kind of couple of grease on the threads. As you can see, them together seem to match up perfectly. So I'm just going to get a turning by hand first. Having to uh, turn the uh, wire at the same time. Gonna get that nice and snug. And that should do it. Oh guys, so got the sensor on there. It's nice and secure. But as you can see the new wire is quite a bit longer than the old one. But they did supply a pack of uh, zip ties and some connectors so we can uh, tuck this away safely. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the connector. And put it back onto its bracket. So I'm going to try and use this connector to tuck away the wire. And I'm gonna hang that wire just over here, like so. And that should be fine. All right, guys. So it's the moment of truth. Everything's all on. Let's see if we've got our power back. Bismillah. I didn't clear the uh, cold yet. Just gonna try take it for a little spin see if there's any change in the drive if we've got our power back oh guys 
guys so i've been driving around for about five minutes the power is definitely back no more limp mode seems like it's a successful job alhamdulillah i'm gonna go ahead and try delete the fault code right now erase yes erase done so i'm gonna drive it around now and see if that light comes back all right guys so check this out been driving for about five ten minutes power's definitely back but not the light oh right guys so there you have it power's definitely back idling perfectly no eml light on i think we're good to go alhamdulillah so don't forget to like share subscribe i'd really appreciate that until next time peace